Hi guys, welcome back. So today I'll be showing you how to play long drives by Boy with Yuk. Now I got the keyboard on the fret six, a bit high. Um, yeah, in that case the calls are actually very easy, all open calls. And with the keyboard on six, uh, six fret, you actually get the flavor of uh, the ukulele. The song, if you don't know the song, is obviously played on the ukulele. The name says everything right so by the way i have uh, covered the lesson on the uke too so you can check it out if you play it otherwise let's hop into the lesson we got the keyboard on fret 6 full course needed i'll break down every part if you can't do finger picking no props i'll show you with the platform too first call c major mute 3 to open first open uh, g major 3 to open 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 3 we got d major mute mute open second third second e minor open second second open 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 that's a basic pattern, which just goes throughout the whole song. I'll break it down in a minute, but before that, let's have a look at the right hand. Um, most of the time, I'm using my uh, thumb to hit the top E string, or the A string, or the D string. And then I use my index to plug the G, middle finger to plug the B, ring finger to plug the high E string. But the pattern goes like this, like I use uh, the top string to play the top, uh, the, I use my finger to play the top string, then I use my uh, these two fingers to play the other strings. So uh, once I show you the chord progression and all, I'll just explain it a more uh, proper way. So we hold the C major chord, right? And that's it. So I hit the E string with the thumb, and with these three fingers, I hit the G B high E string together. And then you just keep your palm slowly to mute it. So we want to get that boom ching, boom ching. Then again, you plug G B high E string together. So we have and repeat that another time and that works for every chord so we got C major for the G major chord what I'm doing is I'm playing top E string and DGB string got it so this time it will be top E thumb and rest of the fingers hitting the DGB same pattern two eyes so see that so I just came everything one string up if you notice you go to a D major chord in that case you use your thumb to play the D string open and then you plug the G B high E string in the exact same way and repeat and for the E minor chord it will be again exactly the same thing uh, like the G major chord you hit the top E string with the thumb and then index middle and ring for the D G B respectively all put together we get the sound Hear the song. This one. So we have this uh, small melody line going on, which I'll break it. Uh, it may be a bit hard because I'll move on to one bar chord to play that. Because we are trying to play everything together. So I'll show you that in a minute. But before that, let's master the thing which we learned right now. So a bit slowly. Right, that sounds nice and easy right uh, now if you have a plectrum you don't know how to a finger pluck you can do this this is one easy string pattern what I do is I go for down 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 so I do I hit the the first down is basically hitting the bass note of every chord uh, then I go for a down stroke I mute it and then another down so boom so boom, tick, tick, tick. Got it? And make sure when you mute, you just go for a fake strum. Like. Now what's bass note is basically the lowest note of every chord from which the name of the chord comes. So for the C it's A3. For G it's the top E third fret. For D it's open D string. For E minor it's open E string. So we have. I actually didn't play the third fret on the high E string for uh, the G major chord. You can avoid it, I don't like it. And then we have uh, this riff. So 
So over here, I play the C major chord like this. I got my E string third fret uh, with the index and ring finger barring the D, G, B fifth frets uh, and also the high E string fifth fret. So what I do is I hit the E string when I plug the D, G, B together. Mute. Again, D, G, B. Then I hit the E string third fret and then I do this. So I still have, I'm still plugging the G, B high E string uh, the whatever fret I do have over here but what I do is I use my pinky to hit the 7th fret on the high E string then 5th fret on the high E string with that bar hitting that high E string 5th fret so we got same for the G chord it will be a bit stretchy you're gonna be using your pinky we'll hit the top E string then DGB again DGB then top E string then again open G open B 7th fret on the high E 5th fret on the high E open G open B you go to the D major chord. I like to play like this. Uh, that will be a lot more easier. Uh, you just use your index finger to bar uh, the second frets of G B E open D, middle finger and third fret of the B string. In that case, your pinky is kind of free and it can stretch a lot. So we have the same thing: D and G B E, then D, then seven, five. And for the E minor, you don't have to do anything. You can just have your hand like this, free, and you can just plug E then G B E open, mute G B E then open E, and you can play seven. Five. So all put together, this is how it sounds with the melody and the chords played together. And that brings us to the end of the lesson. I hope this video helped you out. Make sure you guys let me know what other songs you just want to learn. And also, make sure you drop me one of these. It actually helps me a lot. When you drop me one of these, uh, it just shows that this video is actually helpful. And also, the YouTube are uh, going to be promoting this to other people. That's how the algorithm actually works. So make sure you guys subscribe. And let me know what other songs you just want to learn. And if you have a ukulele, make sure you check out that lesson too. Uh, so that's it. I'll see you guys back in the next video. Till then. Bye.